And so today we are doing one Tempe changes with no stirrups. This is Natasha. She's a confirmed Grand Prix horse. And fun fact about Natasha, she is by Negro. So she's a half sister to the famous Vallegro. So I'm going to talk you through my Tempe changes on her. And I sometimes actually like to practice my Tempe changes without stirrups because I have a bad habit in the tempi changes of kind of pitching forward and like leaning out of the saddle so doing tempi changes without stirrups or just flying changes without stirrups will really help you to stay more connected into the saddle so first off um, before you do your one tempies you want to just do a few like three tempies and two tempies just to make sure that the aids are all working correctly and I'm going to do these before I explain to you guys how to ride and ask for the one tempies. So first things first, I'm going to get a nice canner, make sure that my horse is straight and in shoulder four, get a nice canner, nice corner, get your horse straight and one and two and three and four and five and six and I'm trying to give a little bit the inside rein in each change and really feel like I'm sitting and then for the one tempies eight eight three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15. Good girl, Natasha. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And then walk and reward. Good girl. So there you go. It's possible. Um, I'm going to give her a little walk break and then I'm going to do a few more tempi changes. But I just wanted to talk you guys through. So when the, basically your aid for the flying change is that you switch your leg. So like for right lead canter, your left leg is behind the girth. So if I'm in right lead canter, my left leg is here. If I'm gonna do a change to the left, my left leg goes forward here and my right leg goes back. Um, that is the aid for the flying change. When you're doing tempi changes, you have to count. So you notice like for the two tempis, it was one aid, one aid, one aid. For the one tempies, so here's the crazy thing about the one tempies is the one tempies are like skipping. So there actually is not a full canter stride in the one tempies. So when you're asking for the one tempies, it's basically just leg, 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 leg. You have to switch your legs before the horse does the flying change. Otherwise, you're too late when you ask for the one tempies. So I'm going to go back again and do the two tempies, hopefully, and the one tempies. Sometimes horses, like once you do the one tempies, it's hard to get them to do the, um, the two tempies again because they get kind of stuck in the mode for the one tempies. So I'm going to take her up here, pick up the canner. It's always super important, like your walk canner transition is really, really important for your tempi changes. So if you're having problems with your tempi changes, go back and just practice can or walk, can or walk, can or walk. Make sure that the first can or stride is really crisp and through like that. And then I'm gonna start with my two tempies again. One and two and sit, sit, sit. Give inside rein, give right, give left, give left, give left. Girl, that's kind of what I'm thinking in my mind. For the one tempies, make her a little rounder, make her a little quicker. She's not round enough, I've got to wait. And now start. Aid, 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 aid. Good girl. Good girl. So, good girl. She's obviously like super confirmed with 
the one tempies. Before you introduce the one tempies, you want to make sure that your two tempies are really good and that your horse reacts to a light aid for the change, like that you're not having to give this huge kick and throw yourself to the side. And then the way that you start with the one tempies, I start them on the quarter line and I just do one, one, canter right, one, one, canter right, one, one, good girl. Good girl. So that's how you start introducing the one tempies. I call those TikToks, where you just go change outside, change inside, change outside, change inside, and get to where you can do like three TikToks on one long side, then start adding to like four or six, and then eventually you'll be able to do your 15 one tempies for the test. So I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you're working on your tempi changes. Also be sure to subscribe and check out in the description box. I have some free mini courses that might be interesting to you. Let me know if you like more advanced videos like this with um, the amazing Natasha. And she's really a special horse. She has a lot of talent for the tempi changes. And in our freestyle, we actually do two tempis on a half circle into one tempis. She is um, very talented and it's really fun to ride the one tempies on her. Mm -hmm.